welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Seeger and you are watching The Seeger Stories. Today is day six of Vlogmas. I cannot believe how fast the days are flying by. We are already at day six and today is all about decorating the tiered trays. But if you watch my previous decorating videos, you maybe know that I had some decor for the tiered trays, but I didn't have Christmas mugs. And just as I was pulling things out, I didn't have as much stuff as I thought that I did. Plus, since last Christmas, I have an extra tiered tray. So we've got more decorating to do. So I'm stopping for supplies. I am here at Home Goods to look and see what I can find for mugs and then have a return over to Hobby Lobby and I wanna see what I can find there. So in addition to decorating the tiered trays, I thought you might like to come along and shop for some of the tiered trays with me today. So let's go see what we can find. Before we do that though, please click that like button below and make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss content. And without further ado, let's shop. I always appreciate the unique things that I can find at Home Goods, and you know you are in a place to find unique goods when there is a, I don't know what this is, even a ski gondola for $14.99, $1,500 for this. I I see these things all the time in Home Goods, like these crazy over-the-top things. Who buys them? Leave me a comment below with your ideas because I'm genuinely curious who could do something with this, but... Anyway, on to shopping. There are usually so many more mugs than I've seen lately at Home Goods, but they did have some, of course, Ray Dunn in the package. This is adorable. That one, I think this one's definitely coming home with me. For $12.99, yeah. You get the mug and a little hot chocolate spoon and some cocoa mix. I think that's definitely our first purchase. They have quite a bit. These are adorable, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I always like to have mugs or canister sets and different food items on the tray, and Home Goods is always just the best place to buy them. That's cute, the cozy one. Hot chocolate. Ooh, I like these. Ray Dunn, of course, but they have a topper on them. They have a Santa and an elf. Those are quite adorable. And I always love the food items you can find here as well, like stirring sticks and whatnot. I've used some of them, but I've also just bought some for decor. These are cute, the little snowman faces. And hot chocolate mixes too. And a lot of the things I find at Home Goods hold up. Oh, this is too cute, the Snoopy. To me, I see a lot of Snoopy stuff. He's not really Christmas, but he's cute. He's naughty and nice. They have quite a few of those uh, home goods. Oh, I really am digging this. You know me, it's hard to resist anything that is plaid. And I really, really like the look of these stirs because they have like this old fashioned wooden stick and the ball on the end. But this package is $25. And I just can't justify the cost of this, although I think they are just darling. Home Goods really has quite a bit, and I was here right before Thanksgiving and didn't find as much stuff. But they're doing really well as far as their seasonal mugs and little trinkets and things. I see a lot of these measuring cups. These are also good to go on a tiered tray or just have decoration in your kitchen. I have come today too armed with the measurements of my tiered tray because that is a mistake that I've made before. Like look at this, it's a Ray Dunn set, kind of like a coffee filter into the cup and it's so cute, but you would have to have the right height tiered tray to make this work. Not a bad price either, $12.99 for both of those. But if you had the right space, it would work. But with tiered trays, you've got to be conscious of what's going to fit on each shelf. And I have one that's taller, but one that's really short. And even this adorable Merry Christmas mug is really not going to fit where I need it to fit. Although I love it. These two. I just wish I could have a spot in my kitchen for this. So cute. Reindeer snacks and Santa cookies. I love a good cookie jar. And I feel like I'm working towards having a bigger kitchen sometime in my life where I can 
I can decorate more because the kitchen stuff is truly overrated or overlooked as far as decorating your home. So many cookie jars and cute things. These plates are so cute. Really loving that. And these, I think, don't fit in with my kitchen, but it's kind of hard with the glare here. But it's little espresso cups, and I love, of course, I love the plaid and the cute little deer on them. They're so cute. And also, another thing you can put on the tiered trays, which come in handy, are the to-go cups. At some point in my life, I want to invest in a to-go cup, but they even have them for wine. They have the mug style or just the traditional, like, tall to-go insulated cups and those are super cute on a tiered tray and to grab and go here's a couple other for wine stay frosty that's super cute don't really drink wine but love it looking in the bathroom section too like there are some things that i think would spill over like obviously you wouldn't have the toothpaste holder in the soap dish but this little canister would work on a tiered tray and there's so many different candle options too. I think that's a candle. It's like, ooh. I won't break it, but I think it's a candle. These are so cute. And so many hot chocolate mixes. These make great gifts too, but I love to have hot chocolate mix or like the stirring spoons on each of the trays and home goods is always my go-to place they have so many really unique things including this peeps hot chocolate kit that's a little crazy but that's kind of cool and i did find some of the smaller stir sticks that i liked but even the small package was like $9.99. And the other ones I'm looking at are like five bucks or less. So can't justify it. Our next stop is at Hobby Lobby. And I can't even believe as I walk in the door, I was here right before Thanksgiving and there were just aisles and aisles of stuff and everything was half off. And I thought, oh, it won't be half off in December. So I better get it before Thanksgiving. But everything everything is half off and their aisles are just cleaned out they had a sale not only on all the christmas decor but the wrapping and ribbons there's quite a bit of cute stuff but they are low in stock these are kind of cute little picture holders hobby lobby usually has a lot of cute things and i always get these little mugs at hobby lobby i see these sold a lot with writing from the cricket on Etsy a lot of times too, but I know I don't have cricket time. And there are no slouch in the mug department either. I mean, there's quite a few cute options here. I'm loving the gingerbread men. That's super cute too. But I'm really taken aback with how little there was left of Christmas decorations. Like there's still a lot, but compared to how it was before Thanksgiving, these shelves were packed. You couldn't even see shelf. And they had a whole aisle of picks. I was hoping to get some picks today. And this is all they have left, like remnants of things. And there were whole aisles that were absolutely empty. And it's, I mean, we're at December 5th. This is crazy. I don't do a lot of figurines or knickknacks, but there were some that were tempting. This guy is so cute. Kind of looks like a nautical theme. And I see a lot of these old-fashioned kind of looking Christmas trees, but I've never seen it in white. A stop down the ornament aisle, which was sparse. I mean, there's still a ton, but compared to what it was. But sometimes you can find ornaments that stand on their own and will work like a figurine on a tiered tray. All right, we are back home from shopping. I didn't find too much at Hobby Lobby. I found more than I expected at Home Goods because I feel like I had gone into both stores prior to Thanksgiving and Home Goods did not have much and now they have a lot and Hobby Lobby had a ton and now they had like nothing. So I literally got like one, maybe two things from Hobby Lobby for the tiered trays. But let me show you what I got from both places and then we'll get to decorating our tray. 
All right, so first things first, home goods. And I <laughs> am just going to kind of pull this out, no particular order. I did get some dark chocolate mix, and I'll show you this stuff in a moment too. This is just kind of what I pulled together that I thought might go on the tray because I don't really have a plan. We're just going to wing it. Get through some of the paper here. Okay, I did end up getting both of these Ray Dunn. I know, shocking. If you've been following my channel, I, like so many others, have been captivated with Ray Dunn. That out. Sorry for all the crinkling. So I got the two. I like that they have this top on them because when they're not in a cabinet and they're just sitting out on the tray, I kind of like that it would be covered so whenever I wanted to use them, there wouldn't be dust. I mean, not that our house is dusty or anything, but you know what I'm saying. Um, and then the other Ray Dunn mug I got, and there just, there just wasn't a lot, but I got part of a Ray Dunn mug as part of this set, which I'm not going to be mad that I got some more hot chocolate mix. And then one of these little stirs, and I say one of because I also bought, ta-da, these hot cocoa spoons. And I wasn't going to, but as I was looking at it in the store, you just stir this into hot water or milk, so you don't actually need the mix. I thought that was super cute. I kind of can't wait to try that sometime this season. Then I didn't get too much. I thought I got a ton, but I got just some peppermint crunch. I have a little container already on the tray. I got these at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. I think we have these in our wedding, to be quite honest, because we had a whole hot chocolate bar. Peppermint sticks and marshmallows. And then keeping with the kind of just a hot cocoa themed, I got these two mugs. So all total, I'm going from like zero winter and Christmas mugs to one, two, three, five. So I feel like I've done good there. All right, so that's everything that I picked up from Home Goods. I'll show you Hobby Lobby in a minute, but check out some of the stuff that I just pulled. These I've had for so many years. I think I remember decorating like my first apartment with these. So couldn't tell you where they came from. I've had them for a long time. They are Jingle Bells. I had them, have tied them together in the past, but I thought they might be cute on a tray. I looked to some of the ornaments that I had and I had both of these adorable little gingerbread houses. So I thought those were cute. I could even cut the string off. I don't know where I got these. I'm sure they were a gift, but they're super cute. I've had this also for a number of years and I didn't put a lot of my ornaments on the tree, so see if I can work some of them into a tiered tray. Um, same thing, the candy canes, I usually put those up on the tree. This I recently inherited from my mom. I don't know if it's too big, I just thought it was super cute. She's kind of downsizing her Christmas decorations when we were there for Thanksgiving. And then I found um, a couple garlands. This one I got at a Crafts Direct store. And then this is kind of a garland or a ribbon, it's a scarf. Like, not a human scarf, but like a scarf ribbon that I've had for years. So, see what I can work out with those. Because I kind of like to have something trailing over the edge. And then I got, this is from Hobby Lobby now. And I didn't get too much, but look how gorgeous these are. And how full. This is three ribbons. And they're meant for decorating packages like wrapping Christmas presents and I'm sure I will use them for that but I kind of want to keep them out as an option that maybe maybe it's something that would look cute on a tiered tray we don't know until we try these things right we just don't know um and then this is just a red and green this one I probably would use for presents only but I really they were just gorgeous and they were $4.99 half off so $2.50 for three bows just so cute. Um, but beyond the bows, the only thing that I purchased from Hobby Lobby is this little ornament, which stands up on its own. So I thought that could be super cute on a tiered tray. And everything was half off. So $4.99, like, yeah, $2.50 for that as well. So this is everything we're working with. Well, not everything because I have all these things up here. So starting at the top, I used this in a tiered tray last year from Hobby Lobby. 
I got this as a stocking stuffer years ago. It's actually a toothpick holder, but super cute. And then this is part of a set with this little rolling pin. I think they got it at, at uh, Home Goods, but we got this as a part of a housewarming gift. We moved in our house in October. And somebody knows how much I love Christmas and thoughtful enough to give us a housewarming gift that's Christmas themed. This is a holdover. I'm just kind of taking everything down here so we can start with the blank slate. Ooh, I love having to-go cups for Christmas. And I have this. There's like three left over from last year. And I think I picked up some more in the cupboard. I think I got some at Target or somewhere like that. These, I'm so glad I picked them up when I did. These little fellas. Hi, guys. When I got all the tree stuff from Hobby Lobby, I also picked up these two. And they're so stinking cute. And they really didn't have much. At, I almost like, oh, I'll wait and get to your tray stuff later because I was shopping for the tree. But so glad that I didn't. I mentioned those. This is some mulling spices. I got that as a gift um, from some friends that stayed with us last year. And I've just not used it. So it's sitting on the tiered tray. But I'd actually like to to mull. One of these days I'm going to mull some spice and it's going to be great. Um, I'm kind of jumping around here. The last couple things, this is, I don't know, I thought it was a magnet, but it, it's, it is a magnet. So I could put it on the fridge or I could do something on the tiered tray. We're really all over the place. And then I have this little snowman that is so cute. My cousin was so thoughtful and got this for us for our wedding. This was the saying that was on our wedding invitations. Frosty noses and snowy kisses. Although I was doing our wedding invitations really late and it actually said frosty hearts and snowy kisses and Nate pointed it out at the last minute. So glad they got it right on the snowman. Glad we got it right on our invitations, but he's so cute. I think he's got to go on a tray. And then, oh, the very last thing, I'll just bring him over here, is this, it's like a little sign. I have this sticking up the top of the tiered tray last year. So I don't know what's gonna go. I'm just gonna stay up here and do this one and then we'll go downstairs and I'll show you the other we have in our little bar area. But let's see what we can work out and um, see if we can make this look cute. It's gonna take some, some thinking here. Okay, here it is. I think it turned out so cute. I know I didn't film me putting it on, but honestly, I've been putting things on and taking them off for like, 45 minutes because it takes a while to get it right. I dug out back there. Those are the other cups that I had and I got them at Target. I recognize the Up and Up brand. So I like to have to-go cups on hand and then in this handy drawer underneath with our stuff, I just put the collars and the lids. So they'll be easy to grab if we're going to look at lights or on the way out the door. I just love all of these cups that I got. These gingerbread house ornaments, I think, ended up being my favorite part of this tray, and it's so cute. And the garland I found was actually two together, so it was nice um, to take those apart, and I liked how it drapes. Oh, and this bow was actually the bow that was on the gift set for Let It Snow. So using every little piece, I got one of the hot chocolate spoons here. To try but I think with the rest of the stuff that I have I'm going to make the tiered tray downstairs just completely Christmas uh not Christmas themed everything's Christmas themed make it completely a hot chocolate themed so I'm excited let's go do that one now yay all right so here is tray number two I think this one might be my favorite so we did hot cocoa theme let me show you what's going on here so this I had last year this frosty winter cafe and ironically this tiered tray this aluminum tray and I got it off Amazon I'll link it below had this taller stem and I got rid of it because this is in our bar area downstairs and it wouldn't go under the cabinet so I had Nate get me a different like washers and things to get rid of it and then I went and put this topper on so it doesn't fit under there anyway, but whatever, I don't care. I also had gotten these from Amazon, uh, I think this fall or summer, I can't remember. Um, I'll link them below too, but I'm kind of sad these little guys up here, you can't see their faces, but it is what it is. I love the way that this turned out. I wasn't sure if I was going to use these, but I think it's my favorite part of the whole tray because it just really creates a ton of movement going through. I had 
the cups, the to-go cups in here and the little hot cocoa sign, the stir sticks. There's one of the cocoa mugs. You can't even see. I mean, it's so, see, hiding back there? There's the other mug. <laughs> this one's just so full. I took those peppermint crumbles that I got at Home Goods and just put them in a little jar. I don't even know where I got that, like just a hardware store um, jar. We usually put like <laughs> nuts and things in it, but whatever. I have marshmallows back there, but there's no marshmallows in it. I am just in love with this. Oh my gosh, it is my favorite thing. And then I put the little sleigh back there next to Sven. If you watch my videos, oh, the shadows, the lighting, it's just terrible in here. But if you watch my videos, when we went to Disney, Sven wanted to come home with us. Are you like in Minnesota, buddy? He just loves it here. And then I had this little this little guy, I've had him, it's a cookie jar. I've had him for quite a number of years. We might have to put some Christmassy stuff in there. And then just down here, because we do have a little sink in our bar area, I have some of the peppermint Mrs. Myers. This I don't know what to do with. I just have it kind of sitting on the ledge right over here, but it's appropriate uh, hot cocoa sign to go in the corners. So I really like how this turned out. Maybe in future years, I will have more to put in the cupboards. We just kind of have a mod podge, hodgepodge of all of our cups and things in here. But um, slowly but surely we'll get Christmassy. And I absolutely love this tray. I'm so excited. So that is our tiered tray adventure for the day. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the shopping and doing the tiered trays. I would love to hear if you do them and some ideas that you have for Christmas. Leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe below and I will see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye.